Hello, my name is Scott. Today we're going to be trying to make a Meta Quest VR application using Unity, and I am going to walk through the steps to set up a basic project for that. So to start with, if you don't have Unity, you can go to unity.com. There is a download right here in the front you can go to, uh, and you want to get the Unity Hub. Uh, when you sign up and get everything, most likely you want to get the uh, personal edition because it is free you know of course up until uh, you make a certain amount of revenue on your particular game so once you do so it will look something like this this is unity hub and we need to install the unity editor go to installs uh, install editor here and get the most recent version of the LTS so I'm gonna get unity 6 6031 f1 is the version I'm using hit install and this part is a little bit important make sure you have Android build support uh, included when you do this because once again this is building for the MetaQuest which needs Android support so hit continue agree to the conditions and let's wait for it to install right so here we go our install is complete now uh, let's make a project go into the projects we're going to make a new project and for the templates we want a universal 3d for this case so I'm gonna give it a name and location and then create my project and we'll wait for this to spin up so according to the meta documentation we should be using the universal render pipeline for our project okay now we got our URP project we want to then add the meta SDK so for this we can go to the unity asset store uh, and look up the Meta XR all in one SDK. This gives you everything uh, you need or you could possibly need for XR. Uh, I'm going to click on Open in Unity. This should bring it up in my editor, hopefully, into the package manager. Let that load up. And you can see that the current version I have available here looks like 71, uh, updated November 22nd. So I'm going to click Install on this and we're going to let this install okay and now once that installs you will get a prompt to restart the editor so let's click the button and allow that to happen uh, you'll also get this warning here which we'll deal with in a minute i guess all right and we'll let the editor shut down and come back up one time Okay, so we're back up and we get this pop-up again about uh, OpenXR hand if we want to use that versus OVR hand, being that the OVR hand skeleton is being depreciated. Um, since this is a new project, we'll go with the new one, the OpenXR hand. Just click that there. I'm going to get rid of this package manager and let's do some project settings. If we go to, let's see, where do we go? Edit, project settings. and let that run a little bit. We get this uh, project setup tool that's telling us that we have all these things we need to fix. So let's just fix all of them. Let's trust Meta uh, and let's apply all of these. Seems fair. Go down to XR plugin management. This is kind of the important thing and we need to install the XR plugin management first of all. So we'll click on that and we'll let that run. Okay, now that that's there, we'll click on Oculus because we are building for the MetaQuest, which used to be named Oculus, and let that load its packages as well. Okay, now if you note, know, we just enabled Oculus for this Windows setting, but we also want to enable it for Android as well, so we'll do the same thing here. And then once we're done, we can go visit the MetaXR settings again. We can see we have a couple more things that are being asked to fix. Let's go ahead and apply all these. Once again, we'll just trust Meta. And the last thing that we want to do is we want to change our build target to Android because we are building for uh, the MetaQuest in this case. So if I go to File and Build Profiles, you can see on the left here we have Windows and Android. Currently we're on Windows as an active group. We want to go to Android, hit switch platform, and this should make our active platform uh, set to Android. 
Okay, so I think we pretty much have our project set up now. So the last things we need to do to test this out is we need to get rid of this main camera because this is just the standard uh, 3D render camera which doesn't work for VR. So we just hit the delete button, delete that. Now I'm going to right click Interaction SDK which we got from our Meta SDK and add our OVR interaction rig right there. So now we have the uh, interaction rig in. Just for fun, maybe I'll put a, um, a plane down for some flooring like that. And yeah, let's test this out. So to test this out, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my Oculus Quest because it is the old Oculus Quest. It's the Quest 1 uh, with a link cable connected to the PC. Uh, and enable Oculus Link, and then hopefully Unity should pick this up. We can hit this play button and see what happens.